Uh, I had seen some reporting, it might have been late last week, that senior management, they might have even implied Jeff Bezos. I I, I, I don't remember. Yeah, that was the sure. report. Was very, they said it came from Jeff Bezos. Sure. Oh, I'm talking about was extremely frustrated about the way this was being discussed in public. That oh. the, the response to people like Bernie Sanders wasn't strong enough. That that might have been leading to some of the like the you don't believe in the P thing, um, and, and that he's personally obviously very frustrated by the unionization drive. Um, do you know anything in terms of the the leaks about their social media? Activity. Do you know anything about the way their tactics might change as we get closer to a resolution of the situation in Alabama? Yeah, well, when we were first chatting off camera, you mentioned feeling more you know, optimistic about things. One cause for optimism, I think, is that they're extremely scared about this union vote. And I don't think that the extent of the anxiety would exist if there wasn't a fear that this was a credible thing that could succeed and could happen. They're terrified, and that's why they're doing this. And you're right to call it an own goal. I mean, Again, I'd like to take credit, but a lot of this is just people enraged by what they saw to be, you know, flatly false or just wildly um, uh, unprofessional uh, comments to these elected officials who are pretty popular. They're Bernie people inside of mm-hmm. Amazon. They're Elizabeth Warren fans inside of Amazon. Um, so it, the reason they're deviating from, you know, their general strategy of just not commenting on these kind of things, um, I don't know firsthand, but yeah, I would guess something to do with because that's the, really the the X factor here, the, the variable that's that's changed. And so um, I think they understand, I mean, there were cases where the NLRB, the National Labor Review Board, um, they found uh, and, and alleged that there was retaliation against attempts to unionize in Chicago. And I think there's a lot of pressure talking to folks um, come follow, uh, during the pandemic because conditions are so bad, they desperately needed accommodations and concessions to be able to continue to work safely so they don't catch this horrible plague. And so all of this is putting enormous pressure on senior leadership to make these concessions and to the extent that they're not able to, the workers are like, well, gosh, maybe we should just start a union. They're not listening to us, what else can we do? Yeah, yeah, and um, obviously they're afraid. And as Bernie Sanders has said, if it can happen there, then in theory, it can start to happen elsewhere. So yeah, it seems like they probably should be afraid. Now you've uh, you've already uncovered a lot. I know that you are as always available for more disclosures. I imagine there are things that we don't know about this whole thing. So if somebody is watching oh, this yes. and they're a current or former employee, they know something they'd like to share. How can they do that? I'm glad you said that, John. This is like the this is like a part of the infomercial where it's like you know there's something I really want <laughs> and what could oh I just happen to have it. Let me tell you guys about it. So um, go on, on my Twitter. I've got my signal at encrypts your text messages. You can text me at two zero two five one zero twelve sixty eight. Nice, awesome, looks professional there, yeah, I like it. Um, okay, no, people definitely should, um, People, we need to know this. And the earlier that it can get out, the more chance it has. Is Timing is effective. critical. Exactly. exactly, so everyone, if you have access to information, please do it. Ken is amazing at protecting sources, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and as always, Ken, we really appreciate both your work and you joining us on the show. My pleasure. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.